All right, let's go to Neki Moon. This is gonna be good. This should be good. Oh, there, there's levels here as well. Uh, four one is the Holsogen base. Now, if we, uh, uh, Professor Ein, if we infiltrate their base, doesn't that make us the bandits? By the way, Bomberman, you do have the water, ice, and wind bombs, don't you? Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, so if Professor Ein is telling us we need the water, ice, and wind bombs, that means we have to get those before we we progress through this level. If you go to the Carabon Select screen and actually press the right button. You'll be taken to where you can see all the different bombs you have. We have the fire bomb, the water bomb, the wind bomb, but not the ice bomb. It's definitely one of these two. So we're, we're going to have to not go on this level right now, it seems. Let's head back. And what we'll do, we can make our way to figure out where we need to go to get the, uh, the other bomb. It doesn't show up. It doesn't show up on any of these, does it? Like, if you look at the bottom left corner, it shows you all the things that we've encountered here. And it doesn't it doesn't show up on any of these, does it? Ah, there's something in 2-5. I don't know if that means it's a bomb element or a bomb merge, but there's something there. 2-5. We don't have, we have neither, we have neither the attribute that makes it nor where it merges. So let's do a little bit of research. We're gonna do a little bit of research. You guys know how much I love me some research. Okay, research done. I figured out where we need to go. Uh, are you gonna let me? Hello? Game. There we go. There we go. Now we're responsive. Uh, I need to go to 2 4. There was an area that we needed to travel to in order to get an item that we need for the ice bombs. Let's see if we can find it. Ah, okay, so clearly when I took this level before, this is 2-4, by the way. When I went through 2-4 before, there's a branching path right at the beginning. And when I went to the left, I didn't realize that I had not gone this way, which leads towards this this present. If I'm not mistaken, that means this is a mini game, which I'm not entirely happy about. <laughs> okay. Motor bomber! Motor bomber! I remember. I remember. This was screaming it just like that. Okay, so do I need an explanation? Of course. Who the hell do you think I am? Someone who understands games? I aim to reach the goal within the time limit by riding the motor bomber. Move sideways with the control stick. Press the A button to go faster. Instead of suddenly dodging the ob ice obstacles by using the control stick, gradually avoid them by letting go of the A button and then move out of the way. Good luck. Alright, so I'm guessing I need to hold the A button from here. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah. Oh, maybe I do need to tap it instead of holding it, because it looks it feels like I'm slowing down. Feels like I'm slowing down. Uh, yeah, I think I do need to tap it instead of holding it. Oh I beat it! With just 11 hundredths of a second left, I beat it. That's wild. That's truly wild. <laughs> I didn't think I would make it. Also, they probably should have given me a finish line. They probably should have given me a finish line. We got the shaved ice. It's a bomb merge item. I mean, I'm, I, I feel like it's pretty clear what we're going to do with this. All right. So once again, we got what we came for. We don't need to continue playing here. So let's bounce. Let's bounce. All right, so we have the item. Now the level that we need to take it to is 2-5. I believe we actually did run into the portal here. And it, uh, it, it, we obviously weren't prepared. So let's do it once more. All right, so in here, in this, in this small cave, is where we need to merge... The item that we obtained. The one called yeah. Shaved Dice. Alright. 
Alright, so this is where bombs are combined. We'll bar merge the bomb with the shaved dice. I feel like it's fairly obvious at this point what we will obtain. Is the ice bomb. So this bomb can freeze water spouts. I'm sure over the course of the entire playthrough, you have seen and noticed uh, fountains like these. What we need to do is take the ice bomb, drop it down, blow it up, and this freezes. Uh, so over these fountains, we can walk as, as well as cross over. I'm sorry, it, it'll also allow us to stop certain things uh, from happening. Such as keeping us out of areas. There's been many points where we've run into something that was keeping us out. And the only way to stop it was to freeze it. So many that we ain't got time to go back and look at them. <laughs> Let's go ahead and go back to where we're supposed to be. Okay, so this episode was supposed to... Oh, well, let me... Let me let's just go back. Let's go right back to... I am being an ass clown. Infiltrate the Hickey Hickey Bandit's base. By the way, Bomber Man, you do have the water, ice, and wind bombs, don't you? We do now! Thanks, Professor Ryan. You know, he actually became helpful. Without him, we would have wasted endless hours in this level. Alright. So the the Verse is the same as the first. Point is to get to the end of the level, but we're infiltrating the Higgy Higgy Bandit's base. I gotta be careful that these meteors don't blow me up. Because apparently that's how you do things here. You blow people up. Use bombs to jump across. You got it. Select a bomb jump caravan. Come on, Ein. I know you were just being helpful. I know how it works. I'm not gonna do it at all. First, I want to explore down here. Games, you know, games are pretty smart. They hide stuff where you're not supposed to be or where you're told not to explore. I like that. I like that in a good game. Shit. All right, let's drop this bomb down here and bomb jump across. That's what a bomb jump looks like. I don't remember whether or not I've done a bomb jump up to this point. But that's what a bomb jump looks like. Boom. Trying to figure out if it's worth to go over here or not. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Oh, hell. The drill dozers. Drill dozers. Nope, you're not going nowhere, family. Here you go. The last thing I need is for y'all to show up and show out. Yeah. Come on. Go in there. How many do I need? Is it done? Is that what the flash of eyes meant? It's done. I'm going to take that for it being done. Oh, is that where I just came from? Or did I follow this path? I think I followed that path. So what's over here? What's over here that they are trying to keep me out of? Oh! They're trying to keep me from getting smashed. I understand. I understand. All right, let's put this in there. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Here. Hold this for me, fam. There we go. We gotta put this place on ice before we die. There we go. It's on ice. It's on ice. All right. Let's see. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Down there. What's down there? What down there? Could you be hiding from me? Ah! Shoot. He is his invulnerable state. This enemy here rolls into a ball and then rolls around. He is invulnerable at that point, I believe. It is with his invulnerable state. That he is vulnerable. <laughs> Here we go. More bomb jumps. Alright. So let's see. The blue laser phases in and out, but the red laser. Obviously that doesn't. We can't we can't kick bombs through. So let's see. Can we slip through here? When I was a kid, I never realized I could turn the camera to see a better angle at which I can pass through. Because like I said, I have bad depth perception. My depth perception is pretty poor. So it makes it hard to do some kinds of puzzles sometimes. Or most of the time, rather. So I need to use tricks that will help me get through. Like whenever it comes to like straight line puzzles, like these lasers, it makes it hard for me to see 
where the lines actually are. So like I'll turn it like this. I'll never really look at it like this because this I can't tell. There's some puzzles in Metal Gear Solid, uh, the very first game for PlayStation, that I absolutely cannot tell how to get through it because the line, not because it's hard, but because the lines are straight to the point that I can't tell where where things are happening. And it's not the game's fault. Definitely not the game's fault. It's my vision. It's my vision. Like I've always had poor depth perception. Let's throw this in there. Did I set something off? Oh, I guess I did. If it's smoking. All right. It looks like I kill all the red lasers. Let's find out if that is true. Oh, I killed all the blue ones too, it seems. Dope. Let's come over here because clearly they were hiding something from me. You don't put locked doors behind stuff you don't want people to, or you don't care if people take. So let's see. Now we can come back here. We can jump back down there and get our eagle on. Let's see, there's something over here too, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Trying to hide stuff from me. Don't you know who I am? Don't you know I am an adventurer? Through and through. Let's see. Pomidoragon is probably near leveled up. Near near the max level. I don't remember what it is, to be honest. Let's see, is this one of those games where I get to jump in a minecart and have loads of fun? There's something over here. They wouldn't they wouldn't make this if there was no lightning card. <laughs> you can't hide it from me, fam. You can't hide it from Oh, there's one there. All right, let's figure out how to get down in that trench because it seems like I can't do it just yet. I can't fall down there. It's not as simple as just jumping down. I must find. Oh, speed is speed is maxed out on Pomodoro. All right. So let's see. Maybe I got to get in these mine carts. I know I love me some mine carts. Y'all probably don't know that. Fun fact. I love me some mine carts. Let's see. Let's head over. What's over here? Oh, it, it's our roly poly friend. How wonderful. How wonderful. Let's see, how would one get over there? Because I know there's a lightning card in there. No, it's just an extra heart. Okay, how would I get over there? I don't think I can get over there at this, at this point in time. I don't think it's possible for me to do so. That'd be one that I have to come back for if I want that, uh, if I want that extra heart. Okay, which cart did we take to get here? I believe it might have been... Actually, I don't think it was this one. This one seems like the one that we took. Nope. That is untrue. Oh, well. Is that over this way? Oh! Oh, there's rotary things, huh? I wonder what they want me to do. I mean, it should be fairly simple. Blow up. And have it switch the track. Yeah. Yeah. That seems like the... Wh where does this go? Where does this go? Over that way. All that pe uh, Pomodoro gun needs now is special. Anything else is a waste, but I don't feel like switching back and forward. So we're just going to have uh, Pomodoro gun be our super-powered, super-powered care bomb. And look in there. There's a thing for us. Look in there, there's a thing for us. I don't know if it's clear or not how we can get there, but we can get there for sure. There you go. There you go. Okay, so as we've seen before, I use bombs here near these ledges to drop down and jump on. But clearly one bomb won't do it. So what you do is you use Pomidoragon, who has both remote control and bomb jump, so that you have enough time to put two bombs down Oh, in the right place, by the way. What I can do, because I'm lazy, I can just drop a line to them. It don't matter. It doesn't matter. Simple. Simple, simple, bow bimple. Hey. Carabomb merge. Okay, so we're about to merge two more Carabombs, and neither one of them is bombing. This one is... Stegodon! Stegodon? And Andalar. We're gonna merge them together. I wonder what kind of madness we will get. Let's do it. Anguru. 
The result is Angle. You guys remember both Stegodon and Anlar's abilities, correct? Angle gives us the ability to have bomb kicks and bomb throws powered up. So basically, we can throw and kick bombs as far as possible with both Anlar and Stegodon as Angle. Perfect. Perfect? Maybe. I don't know. I don't remember. I don't remember. Okay. Cool. I'm sure that'll be useful. But not useful as Pome Dragon. Let's move. <laughs> let's move back. Okay, let's see. So we came over this way thanks to this cart. Which means we came from that path that is open. So let's see if we can go to that path that is blocked off at the moment. Hop in the cart. Is this where we came from? No, this is not where we came from. Because we never got down in this trench. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now down in this trench. I want my lightning card. I want my lightning card and there's nothing. There's like very few things that anybody can do to stop me from getting this lightning card. Boom, get out of here. That's two. That's two lightning cards for this one level. Let's see, did we come from this way? I think that's the way we came from. That's from which we came. Here you go. Let's hit that there. Let's line these bad boys up so that when one goes off, they all go off. I don't know why I want them all to go off. They were not set up to kill both enemies at once. I'm the biggest clown. All right, here's what we're going to do. Here's how we're going to do it. Fine. One dead. Don't care. I don't care. Both dead. Huh. This red switch is now pressed in. Do I just want the bombs to explode near the red switch? I know green switches want us to step on them, and yellow switches want a bomb placed on it. I think for these, we might need to have a bomb explode nearby it, and it is pressed permanently? Question mark? Let's give it a shot. Got him. What's in here? Let's see. I'm on, to be honest, I'm kind of lost down here now. I, I feel like I've ran everywhere. I'm kind of lost. Let's see. This is where. This is how we got down. This is the. Freeze the water spouts. I. I was gonna say that. Now remember, these water spouts don't freeze permanently. Just long enough for me to make my way across. Twice. <laughs> okay. There's that first red switch we saw. Standing on it does nothing. Putting the bomb on it does nothing. Making it explode though. It does something. Something has been activated. I see this boulder here. With it off, it'll let me get over here. Shoot. Did my bomb just disappear from... Yes, it sure did. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to use Angle or Unlock. I don't care, to be honest. Where's Angle? Let's look at him here. Yeah, he's not too... His level's not too high. It's because both of the... Both of the care bombs that make them up, not too high. Okay, so if we hop on this cart, this cart will take us not in the direction we need to go. The opposite of the direction we need to go. Okay, how would, how would I, which switch is the one I need to turn off? I need to switch these two switches. Okay, so I need to use my freeze bomb. Come over here. Can I do it? Yeah, I did it perfect. And now I can go around this way. Now, the trick is I need to get in there. I can use that rock, that boulder, to get in that area over there. That's, in fact, the only way I can use it. Uh, what I need to do is push the boulder so that it will explode. I'm sorry. So it will fall onto the track. Seems simple, no? All right. Uh, and then let's hop back on here. And now... We're in a labyrinth. We're in the labyrinth thing. The the labyrinths of labyrinths is what I started to say. I don't know. What, I don't know what my mouth was doing, but that's what I started to say. You don't get. What are you doing in here, you clown? Oh, cool. They got a cart in here too. Let's see if we can move that cart out the way, so that we can hit that green switch behind it. 
Uh, what I'm going to do is use Angu or somebody. Somebody that can throw shit. Somebody? Anybody. There we go. Let's use him. And throw a bomb in there. Or not. Or not. That's cool, too. There we go. Uh-oh. The thing is alive. I don't think it liked me throwing a bomb at it. Let's see. Oh, and it's got a, a, a jackhammer? Okay, cool. So let's see if we can throw another bomb in the thing and stop it. Oh, oh, and it, it jumps around too. It, it does it does all sorts of things. How wonderful. That jackhammer works much like the elephant boss in that it makes it so we can't throw, or we our bombs that are placed aren't placed anymore. Oh! Shoot. Okay, so what we could do, we kind of we kind of manipulate the game. First off, we could follow this guy. We kind of manipulate the game and throw over the walls. Oh shit! Oh, please don't turn around. I'm in trouble if you turn around. Okay. Ooh. All right. So let's not get behind him when he reaches the end of a path or it reaches an intersection. That seems like a smart thing to do. Cause if he if he Reverses into me one more time. I'm gonna be mad with everybody. Be mad with everybody. Gave this man his license. Oh shit. I forgot. I forgot how it works. Alright, here we go. Let's see. When he jumps like that, he ain't gonna move. So we're good to we're good to throw. Oh shit. Here it comes. Oh. I thought it was gonna reverse into me. Come on. Alright, here we go. Damn. My throws are, my throws are trash. For Anlaw to be the one that cares about throwing, my throws are trash. Let's try this. Shit. If he would have kept going, it would have been fun. Oh, it didn't need to go in. It didn't need to go in. It was just fun. All right, with your jackhammer. Here we go. Shit. You coming this way? No? Good. Keep it that way. What does this do? Oh, it did lower it. Cool. Now I just got to figure out how to get over there. I don't think I can in the current state. It looks like everything is blocked off. Don't back up. Don't reverse. Don't reverse. Okay, cool. Got it. So where is it over? Woo! It's over. Okay, regular music. Never mind. I was going to say where the jackhammer lands behind him. Is the perfect position to uh, to throw the bomb from because it went right in. But it seems like I don't need that. Uh, I don't need that shortcut anymore. For he is no longer. He is no longer. And that is exactly how I like my my mini boss enemies. All right, cool. Let's blow these bad boys up. Get in there. Your stats are getting there. All right, so that's the exit. Clearly, it wants us to rush there. I'm no fool. I am no fool. That last lightning card is somewhere. Oh, is this another way in? No, this is the other side. Okay, got it. That last lightning card is somewhere, and I would I would continue looking for it if the exit wasn't right here. Area clear. Area clear. Not bad, honestly. That was that was a pretty nice run. That was a nice run through the whole Sajin base. All right, naturally after four one comes 4-2, the arms gate. Let's go to work. I'm done! Bye!